Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a little bit of this Sniper Elite 4 nonsense, shall we? So this game is out tomorrow, I believe. I quite enjoyed number three. What the hell happened to my frame rate? Good God. This has got to be exploit related. In a big way. Because just before I went live, my frame rate was about 150. Now it's at 45. What in the actual fuck? Wow, that's a brilliant start. I wonder if it's DX12 related. Okay, we're going to have to play Fixeroo with this then, aren't we? Bloody hell. I'm not playing it at that. That's really strange. As I said, it. I think that is very much exploit related. Okay, let's uh, play the fun game of try and figure out why exactly it's doing that. Uh, first things first, uh, probably the best thing we could do would be to have it stop displaying the preview window and see if that fixes it. Unfortunately, I haven't had to do that in so long, I can't actually remember how you do it. Uh, great start. <laughs> awesome. Uh, again, very, very weird. Uh, literally sliced my frame rate down big time. Uh, I did alt-tab out. That is that is actually true. We could try and restart the game. Thing is, I'd alt-tabbed out pr prior to that, and it was totally fine, which is why it's a little weird that it's now not. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, first things first, then, I suppose. Let's try restarting the game. See what happens. And that will mean I'll have to reset up all of my goddamn audio ducking. Because that's great fun. Yay. Not looking forward to that. You might want to mute for a second, because I have a feeling that you're about to be deafened. Warning was given. Uh, is the ducking working? Actually, I think the ducking's still working. Is it? Maybe? There we go. I mean, as you said, it's, it's like 200, 300 frames now. Let's see what happens. There we go. Frame rate's where it should be. Although the ducking isn't working properly now. So it's fine. It's just, it's permanently quiet. Let's see what happens when we alt-tab out and alt-tab back in. Frames now seem fine. Okay. So now I just need to re-add the ducking channels and then we should be good to go. I have no explanation for why that happened. Add the ducking channels. There we go. Minimum 5. Maximum ratio 35%. Da -da -da -da. Da, 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 da. Audio docking added, blah, 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 blah. Minimize the window. Audio docking is active. Yes, it is. Good. Go back into the game and... Lovely. Working as intended. Let's try that again. I would ignore the frame rate counter at the top. I'm not even sure if you can actually see it. I can. Uh, Xsplit sometimes picks that up, sometimes doesn't. But, you know, Xsplit obviously has a frame rate impact. But I am now seeing, you know, about 120 frames, so that's fine. I'm trying it on DirectX 12. I don't know if that's actually going to help. It is probably going to make it perform worse, if I'm, if I'm entirely frank with that. Let's do a little test on the solo survival just to see what's going on with it. See if it's running properly. You can't see it? What do you mean you can't see it? Oh, you, oh, you can't see the frame rate counter. Okay. I was going to say, you can't see the game? What the hell are you talking about? It's working fine. All right. So it looks a bit plasticky, doesn't it? Yes, yes, mush, mush. Uh, yes, it's about, it's around 100. It probably runs, I would imagine, it probably runs better on DirectX 11. Because I have yet to see a game on this system that's run better with DirectX 12. Like, DX12 right now does not seem to be in a good state. Let's be entirely frank with that. But, yeah, okay, this, this seems to be running relatively well, from what I can tell. Obviously, we're streaming at 30. I could do 720p 60 or 1080p 30. Not sure which you would prefer, but this is what we're doing for the time being. It doesn't look brilliant, though. No, it's, I mean... I, think I, sh I don't know, does this look worse than the last one? Maybe I just remember the last one looking a little bit better than it actually did. 
But I recall being relatively impressed by the way the last one actually looked. And the, uh, the textures are tessellation on as well, so the texture quality should be better. It's kind of surprising that it's not. Frames dipping again. Yeah, it makes me think that it's probably DirectX 12 being terrible. Apparently the command post is being captured. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but hey. What's up, dude? Cover is blown. Sniper elite. Am I right? All of this snipering going on. Anyway, alright, well, that works. Like I said, I, I'm not massively happy about the performance. I'll have to do a few tests with DirectX 11 before I do an actual video on it, but it's running fine enough, I guess, so we can go into the campaign. There's no Vulcan support now. It may also be that async compute is actually making it run worse. It's entirely possible that async compute's actually bad in this situation. I'll go into the game and I'll try it with both. You see, now the frame rates dropped down to like 60. It's sort of gradually bleeding off frames as we go. All right, well, I guess we'll see how it goes. There's a skill tree now. Great. Every game needs one of those, am I right? It wouldn't even actually... Does it have an overall global level system? I'm not so keen on that idea. Apparently all these presets are the same. Oh, great! There's a bunch of DLC weapons and the game's not even out yet. That's lovely. Peachy. Just peachy. Well, I guess we're using the Springfield. Weapon mastery stuff? Oh, God. This is like just a pile of stuff from the Sniper Elite Zombies games. I never liked that. I don't like that form of progression one little bit. I have to wonder if it's even going to be a real campaign then. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, I don't think skill trees have any place in a sniper game. 1943. A world at war. That guy looks really fucking happy about being at war. Look at that. We closed the trap on Hitler's North Africa campaign. But what next? But yeah, I would think a game like Sniper Elite in particular, especially on the harder difficulties, which is based very much on skill and great aim and all that sort of thing and timing, would not benefit from having skill trees in it. Oh, by the way, I liked Sniper Elite 3 a lot. I didn't think that was bad at all. I actually thought that was the best game of the series. It was far better than Sniper Elite 2, which was like, oh, this is totally a stealth sniper game, except most of the levels are designed in such a way that there's no way you could possibly stealth them because of the way that the levels are designed being fairly narrow corridors and the way that enemies patrol. Whereas Sniper Elite 3, you could genuinely be stealthy. It was more open-worldy. I think the problem right now is that Metal Gear Solid 5 has probably replaced Sniper Elite 3 in that genre. Because I don't think there's really much that Sniper Elite 3 did that Metal Gear Solid also didn't do with a sniper rifle. Okay, we're running at less than 60. That's not good at all. F the frame rate has just torpedoed for no reason. Okay, right, let's- uh, we're gonna play around a little bit and try and figure out why that is. As I said, obviously when you're running the stream that it does- that's a little bit more demanding. First- oh, we start the game. I mean, I think probably the best bet is just to go back to DX11 because DX12 has a ton of problems. But yeah, I guess async compute we can't mess with. But yeah, I'm below 60 right now. And for a game that looks like this, that is not acceptable. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Well, you've got instant knocking down of detail. If I knock this down to low and it still stays at low frame rate, we know something's wrong. Yeah, this is on low, the frame rate's identical. Something is horribly wrong. Cool! Right, well, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? It is literally just bleeding off frames as it goes. Alright, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it over to DX11. Uh, if the DX11 version still has problems, then we know we're in trouble. Okay, alright. Just give me one moment. I just got my forerunner key sent, so I was just I just have to give them some uh, 
information. Okay, we're playing uh, good old-fashioned fixeroo. There is a launcher menu for this thing, which does let you turn off DX12. So, okay, DX12 is off. Turn off motion blur. I'll leave everything else on for the time being. There is supposed... Oh, great. That was lovely. Uh, so this doesn't even load. There is supposed to be a day one patch. Um, so I've been told. Yeah, okay. That's that, 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 that. And uh, let's try it again. Oh. So the DirectX 11 version doesn't run at all. It just crashes every time I try and load it. Ha. I... Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, the third time lucky, apparently. All right. And, of course, it's now gone to deafening audio levels. Fix the ducking again. Ugh. Crashed twice, but then ran. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. great. You get to see the uh, frame rate overlay now, apparently. And that's far too loud. Let's fix that. Sorry! The, the unfortunate problem with the audio ducking software that I use is that every new instance of a game counts as a completely... Well, actually, in this case, it would, because the DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 executables are separate games entirely. So... It wouldn't, you know, if even if you'd had the DirectX 12 one set up for ducking, uh, the DirectX 11 wouldn't be automatically hooked in. So that's actually understandable. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, that's reset up. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. All right. Well, let's give that another shot then. So now we're running on DirectX 11, assuming that it didn't switch me back. There we go. So no async compute, nothing like that. I mean, it already feels a little snappier in the menus. So. Let's give it a bash, shall we? Hopefully, it's just the DirectX 12 problem. But yeah, I, I wouldn't pay too much attention to the frame rate at the top, because like I said, it, uh, streaming does put a significant hitter. There we go. Much better. So this is on Ultra 1080p running at 160 frames per second. I think we found the problem. DirectX 12 runs like shit. <laughs> The Arcadia to invest. Thank you. This is much better. This is what I would expect. Uh, this is no SLI, by the way. I'm just running on one card. She gathered, confirmed our worst fears. Not bad, considering I'm running XSplit as well, which is usually a pretty heavy hit. Yeah, 170 frames. That's not bad. We can we can make that work. 170 frames on Ultra. I'll take it. All right. Yeah. Don't. It actually looks better. Are you fucking kidding me? Did you do you notice that? Is this just? Subjective opinion. This looks a fuck ton better on DirectX 11 than it does on 12. That makes no sense. All right. Well, I'm not sure if it's even gonna tell me what most of the controls are because I'll be down to fact remember. Yeah, there. Are, I mean, there aren't any drivers for it yet, so you know that there are definitely potential issues there, and I am going to assume. Yoink. Did they used to have um, X-Ray on Melee? Huh. I'm not, I can't remember. It's been a while. Wait, what's that? I could use my binoculars to check it out. Are we really gonna snipe that? I mean, that's hilarious, but... Okay. There is a lot of ambient occlusion going on, so it's probably doing a pretty good job of covering shit. I just used the bloody binoculars. All right, so I guess it wants me to spot the enemies as well. Apparently, I can read lips too. Very nice. 
Screw the radial menu. This is a PC game, damn it. Thank you very much. Empty the lung. Holding my breath will steady my shot. Well, we got it the second time, right? Whee! That is not how anything works. But it's hilarious, so I'm okay with it. Nicely does it. I've got to admit, I never really played the Sniper Elite games for realism, which is usually why I play them on the lower difficulties without all of the really crazy shit. But I also like the fact that they usually support both playstyles. That, to me, is pretty cool. You can turn all of that assist off if you want and have that elite sniper experience, so you can just have the... I'll have to jump it. The arcade sniper experience, as it were. I'm all right with that. I'm not necessarily okay with the whole XP shit, but... If I recall correctly, 3 had experience as well. I just can't quite remember how much they integrated into the game. I'm fairly sure that was scripted. Those are some really nice looking lobster baskets, I have to say. I'm very glad that in 2017 we finally have reached this level of technology. Da 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 da. Ah, the well rod. That was a real gun, and that was actually pretty fucking quiet. And extremely inconvenient. Bloody hell, those god rays are a little excessive. It's like this is all Age of Conan all over again. And honestly, I think the series has been Hitman-esque since 3, really. So that's not really too big a surprise. Oh god, what are all these stats? If this has an actual loot system, then it's just like, God, no. This is a purple MP40 of Nazi slaying. What the hell is an AP38? I don't think that's a real gun. But feel free to prove me wrong. Car 98K is, of course. Hmm. Compared to the Springfield. A little bit less muzzle velocity, a little bit more recoil dampening. I get, would picking it up unlock it for future use? Let me guess. No, it would probably use some bullshit account wide currency. We'll grab it. Yeah, like I said, I don't think the AP 38 is a real gun. I'm fairly sure that's just an MP 40. But again, I could be very much mistaken in that respect. Apparently, yeah. There you go. The AP-38 actually existed. But what? why would a Nazi have it, though? I'm harder to see in foliage and in shadow. I mean, I'm going to assume that was a Nazi. It might not be, actually. We might be killing people that aren't Nazis, but consider there's a Car 98 in the mix. I'm thinking maybe not. Hmm, I don't know. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, so far, so good. It seems... Ooh, that's a nice open... Yeah, it seems like they've gone down the same approach that Sniper Elite 3 did with the sort of open sneak around, do stuff in the way you want. You know, and I do like that. I think that's the best way to do a lone wolf sniper kind of game. It also does have co-op, by the way. And I'm going to assume that's mission-based co-op as well, not just wave-based shit. I do genuinely think that is the best way to do it. A lot of different objectives, let them let you approach them pretty much any way you want. It's essentially a, a sniper sandbox, you know, with lots of toys to play with. Rousing and acquiring. Player sighted. By who exactly? I I, I do like the fact that the, some of these little tutorials are done in the clipboard with the sort of pencil drawing here. I appreciate it when they do things like that. Distance affects the speed of arousing, guys. Am I right? Yeah. 
According to that, I was detected. I'm not exactly sure how and from where. That made quite a lot of noise, didn't it? And we have sound masks again. Yep. I, I, I thought that was a great addition to it at 3, by the way. That was really great. A uh, very logical way of doing things. Uh, wait for something to happen overhead. Use that as an opportunity. It encouraged patience. It was logical. It's one of those logical stealth mechanics I've ever seen. Rather than saying, all right, well, instead, you've just got magical suppressed weapons. It was like, no, you don't. This shit's loud. Wait for a distraction. Very sensible, in my honest opinion. And people would go ape shit looking for you as well. Environment weaponization, i.e. drop shit on their head. Wily Coyote style. Sir. And I appreciate the sort of long levels where it's just, hey, alright. Go and explore. There's a bunch of explosives and environmental hazards and all that kind of thing. And kind of take on the mission at your own pace. Camera. To me, a game like Sniper Elite is uh, an FPS for people that are less maybe into Twitch games. It's not technically not really a first-person shooter. It's a third-person shooter with first-person zoom mechanics, but... I think there's actually a lot of appeal to that. I'm not usually really into stealth games, but there's something really satisfying about a... a, a sniping game. And not all that many do it well. That is some gnarly texture work. Good God. I mean, that is LOD, considering how far it is away, but good God. Yeah. At least it runs well, anyway. I'd love to know how exactly I know that he has the duty roster on him. Uh, yeah, you can use the overhead sound. Like I said, um, there was a plane flying overhead, and that, that counts as a sound mask. As for the well rod, the well rod is actually pretty realistic. Um, the well rod was a real gun. It was one of the first truly effective suppressed weapons. Uh, there was there were a few problems with it. Like, you had... The, essentially, the whole gun was a silencer. The whole thing. Suppressor, not silencer. And you had to... It had no... Like, I, I don't... It didn't really have a breach. You had to, like, manually pop out every... I don't really know how that works, but you had to get rid of every spent cartridge after every shot, and it was really ineffective at long ranges. Like, it was a very short-range weapon, but it was pretty fucking quiet. So, that that is a real thing. Do I... I love the explosive barrel trope. Like I said, I Sniper Elite has... You know, being gratuitous for a long time. I mean, hell, since 2, since they started putting the x-ray kills in, I think that it's pretty obvious that this is a more of a power fantasy than anything else. Sure, you can play it on a more realistic difficulty level, and if you want the sniper experience, you can get that as well, but for the most part, it's a sniper power fantasy, so... Come the fact that everything is surrounded by fuel tanks and explosive barrels and all sorts of shit like that. Okay. I can... I... That's fine. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Get, get in there. Yeah, you wanna... No, not yet. Were extra kills really in the first one? I actually don't... I can't remember playing... This is a long time ago when I played the first one. Very long time ago. So I really couldn't say. I imagine these puddles probably make a splashing noise and such, so I want to be a little bit careful. Da -da 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 -da. Objectives, objectives, objectives. Many of them. Stabby, stabby. I think I may have upset him. Noises and non-lethal shots help the enemy triangulate your position. If this happens too much in the same location, or if enemy gets visual confirmation, you'll get a full triangulation. Yeah, and it uses the last known position mechanic uh, from Splinter Cell. As I said, the well rod's a bit rubbish. 
Thankfully, most of that sound was masked, I think. So we got a little bit lucky there, but... Based on the radar, it looks like there's somebody over there. How's the medkit work? F to use quit, uh, medkit, alright. There we go, let's not bleed everywhere, thank you very much. But yeah, I think there was someone around here. Camera destruction! I mean, can I just hit it? I mean... Ah, to kick, alright. Fair enough. Also looks like this uh, game has special ammo types. I'm gonna have to go back to my old WTF of Sniper Elite 3. This happens a lot, by the way. When I'm doing videos on sequels, I often forget what the last one had uh, when it came to specific features, especially when you've got a more iterative sequel. That with Banner Saga, actually. Because it had been years since I played uh, the original Banner Saga, I wasn't 100% sure. Hello. Advanced Triangulation. When you shoot, the enemy starts to work out where you are. Moving away confuses them, makes subsequent shots safer. You can determine the enemy's alert level by the color on the radar. Okay. We go. Well, I, I mean, the plan was to stab him. Oh, I guess we're still going to do that. There we go. Ghost takedown, foliage. There's so many little bonuses, it's just starting to remind me of Call of Duty now. Can't find anything else. Master Sergeant, shoot a person. Motion blur is not on. Uh, the artifacting is because there's a shit ton of foliage. This will probably happen on YouTube as well. There's not really a lot I can do about that. If I turn it down, as, if I started streaming 720p, there'd probably be less artifacting, but it would be inherently blurrier anyway, so it's like, you know, take your pick. The god rays probably don't help either. Yes, the game has multiplayer. I don't know if it's got competitive. Which would be a shame, actually, because I enjoyed the competitive multiplayer of 2, but it was a bit ridiculous. I think f 3 also had competitive multiplayer, didn't it? But it did a better job overall in terms of its mechanics. 2 was a lot of run around for a while and get shot from a place that you didn't notice and then try it again. Oh, I can mark the planes as well. That's helpful. So I can see when they come around and whack them with it. I'm gonna be honest, like, even if they did seriously up the bitrate, it probably wouldn't help. Like, the... Here's a comparison. So, my channel runs, or my Twitch channel runs at 4.5 megabits per second, which is the max supported by Twitch. My YouTube videos, I think, are... Well, on 1080p, they're... The YouTube encodes them at about 10. Obviously, I do the 1440p ones to get better results. Oh dear. Well, I sure have caused the problem here, haven't I? I should have waited a few more seconds, I would have been fine. They know exactly where I am. Oh, fuck. Maybe time to leave. I was hoping to sprint. Yeah, let's uh, try and get in cover at least. They are pissed. That's Sniper Elite, right? Someone's behind me as well, aren't they? Oh, God. Do I have a grenade? Uh, apparently not. Well, this is gonna get real messy. I said the SMG's not very good in this game, and that's on purpose. Intestine shot. Look at that quick scope. They know exactly where I am. You can see the triangulation indicator. But anyway, uh, the point was, one way or the other, it'll it'll look probably look pretty shitty on um, YouTube as well. Oh, I didn't. Oh, right. Okay, so that's where they think I currently am. All right. So they're probably going to keep bringing reinforcements in. I'll just grab what loot I can here. Suppressed ammunition. Suppressed pistol ammo. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Look at that. It's adorable. But yeah, that's basically lower velocity ammunition. You might think the suppressed ammunition doesn't exist. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, subsonic am ammo did exist and still does. Uh, obviously, it flies at a lower velocity. I l the one thing I like about this is that they're, they're sending people because they fucking know what's going on. 
they're sending people over to check it out, which most games don't do. Most games are just sort of based on aggro range, and there's a pack of enemies on patrol, and they won't, will never leave that area. So it's like, oh, a patrol about 20 meters away died. Yeah, but that's fine. Because I, I somehow can't hear more than 20 meters. At least, you know, Sniper Elite games don't do that. I appreciate that. Of course, they have no idea where I am right now, which is great. I can use that to my advantage. Let's find out where they are. If I fired from here, they would probably be able to spot me. But there's a second enemy around here somewhere. I do have radar on. Obviously, if you want to play in the more realistic version, you turn that off. But I can probably... Uh, if I'm quick, I can grab him as he comes around the corner. Oh, he, he heard me moving. All right. Come on. Come on. Stabby, stabby. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yep, subsonic ammunition. Most of the noise. Nothing else. When it comes to firing a gun, is the fact that the bullet breaks the sound barrier, so it's pretty fucking noisy. Subsonic am ammunition flies below the speed of sound. Obviously that means it moves slower. Oh dear. They're still sending, guys. I like that. Because of course they would. They wouldn't just say, right, well, be best ignore him then. He must have left. It's like, no. No, of course he didn't. They're still sending dudes. So it's like, get the fuck out of this area. You can't just hang around. Try and find a way around. It's a good system. It's a system that makes sense. I can dig that. It's logical. Alright, we need to get the hell out of here. What would be the best way? I need to get up there. I mean, I could take the direct approach, but I think that it's probably best just to head down underneath. Guess I grabbed everything useful. I mean, obviously I already have the well rod, so... But if I were to take a non-silenced pistol then that subsonic pistol ammo would probably be quite useful. But yeah, the different ammo types are interesting. I have to wonder how far they're going to go with that. I don't know how many true different ammo types there were. There's probably... Would they go with a kind of cable or armor piercing? Maybe. It's possible. I was hoping to get the... Right. They've, they've lost me. I was hoping to... Maybe catch him while the plane was flying over there, but it was not to be. Looks like there's a supply cache over there. These levels are big. Impressively large, actually. Is that a little sandcastle? The Nazis built a little sandcastle. And I can't kick it. That's quite sad. I thought it was, it was subsonic pistol ammo, I think, that I got. I could swap the uh, world out for a Luger. Yeah, so if I go to the radial menu, I actually do have 20 rounds of suppressed ammunition for that. So I may have ended up picking that. Yeah, you just click it and it swaps it out. All right, well, we'll try the subsonic ammunition with the suppressor on it. Obviously, you've got to watch out for the bullet drop there, though. And there's a Luger there if I want to pick it up. But I'll stick with my well rod for the time being. So there's somebody up there. And we need to go and take out that officer. Yeah, this is a nice little playground. Are those really Nazis? I thought they were just. Wait, what? <laughs> just a hint. This is World War II. Kind of the same thing. There's that AP 38 again. Apparently, that's a thing. Actually, not 100% sure if we are fighting uh, Nazis at the moment. I can't re recall what setting this one's in. 
All right, well, I don't think there's actually an easy way up there by the looks of it, so we may very well, unless there's like vines I can climb up or something, we might very well have to go back. I'm going to guess we can't climb the vines. I'm not fucking Lara Croft. Maybe a way up there? Because when you do have these large levels, you do have to be a little bit careful to try and make sure that you don't end up creating a level that is full of nothing. Uh-oh. I think someone just spotted me. It's like I head up here. Obviously, on this difficulty level, the spotting remains pretty much indefinitely. On the higher ones, no. We may be able to just straight take him out with a subsonic shot. I guess that's good. I don't know. I might... The bullet drop may very well be a problem. You know, now would be a really good time to swap back to regular ammo and just shoot him. That, too late. I was hoping well, I could do that while the plane flew overhead, but no. All right, well, we'll see just how much drop there really is. I may have to get to higher ground to actually hit him with that 150 meters away. That's what, space to steady? All right. Oh, damn it. He's moved out of range. No, can't hit him. We'll have to get a little closer. This level is huge. You know, for someone that's supposed to be sneaking around, he makes a hell of a lot of noise when he's looting things. Stealth evidently not so much of a priority there. Alright, this is back where we were with the camera. I mean, I assume there is scope zeroing, but bear in mind I'm playing on just medium difficulty with a degree of assistance on. So if you want the more complex stuff, then that's something you just need to sh switch on. I... I'm not good enough at games like this to actually play that way, so. I'll, uh, I'll show you exactly what's going on with it. So you've got, as usual um, with the Sniper Elite games, you have the custom difficulty. So there's your authentic hardcore. And you can edit custom to tune a bunch of different things. So you... Uh, which I do appreciate. They've been doing this for quite some time. I think ever since Sniper Elite 2. Actually, the original. I think they did it with the original as well. Where they had a lot of stuff like that. You can actually change authentic... This is lovely. Authentic suppressors, yes or no. I actually say yes with that. It's like only reduce shot volume. That's one of the first games I've ever seen give you that option. Weapon spread. Or, uh, you've got auto health regen, yes or no. Then you've got your HUD. The issue that I sort of got with this is that I don't know the difference between these four. So I wouldn't know exactly what's going on with that. And then weapons, you've got, you can mess around with ammo abundance, friendly fire for co-op, gravity and wind, scope drift. And you can even have it so that if you don't use the whole magazine, you end up throwing the whole lot away. When it comes to the things like scope zeroing, I really don't know. The, the, again, the problem with these difficulty settings is that I ha it doesn't tell you exactly what that means. So you can see like the cameras that are available here and you can turn those on or off as well. It would def- I mean, you know, the, the, you can see a little bit down there, but I'd like to know a little bit more exactly as to what all of those things entail. I would actually mess with the suppressor a little bit. I love the idea of there being authentic suppressor options. In the case that suppressed is it's helpful, but not this is I am invisible, I am magical wizard with bullets. Yeah, you know, I think it's it, that's a bit better. <laughs> Plonk. I think it actually made a different noise as well, which is super cool.
Uh, so far, it doesn't seem like it's much more different than Sniper Elite 3. Did Sniper Elite 3 have in-mission co-op? <laughs> that's the question, I think, because that's... If not, that's the main feature of this one, because that this one definitely does. That's stuff I, again, have to just go back and check before I do a video on it. Are we going for it? So that's the, that's the suppressed ammunition with authentic suppressor on. So it definitely makes a noise. But it doesn't make enough of a noise. Oh, it definitely did. The officer's running for cover. So, I mean, he probably heard that come crashing down. It's had it since two. Okay. Hard for me to call such things. It's also confusing, bear in mind, they made three games of just wave-based co-op in the Sniper Elite Zombies games. So it's hard to recall exactly which game had what. Which of the 5,000 objectives am I currently dealing with? That's quite a lot. You may have noticed. I'm going to focus on the Nazi officer assassinations at the moment. I'm going to assume that vehicles are not drivable. I have a feeling at that point you just lose all semblance of uh, stealth. Oh shit. There are enemies everywhere, and I am terrible at stealth games. Oh. Well, I'm not- I don't think the Thompson is really going to help me be stealthy. Thankfully, they don't exactly know where I am right now. So if we get the car out... Can he see me from here? Go- go prone, go prone. The guy behind me- there we go, just- Oh, fuck, he has a whistle! My worst enemy. All right. Fuck your whistle! Through the eye. Uh-oh. This is going up messy. Really messy. You have a whistle as well, by the way. So you can fuck around with people that way. An FNAB. Looks like they've uh, really gone all out to try and find stuff that's not your standard run-of-the-mill MP40. I kind of appreciate that. That means we're going to have to go on Wikipedia again. And have a several-hour binge of reading about World War II weaponry. Because I have never heard of the FNAB. Let's go hide in the barn. So far, so good, though. Actually. I'm not noticing a huge number of differences from three, but I will need to do a little bit of a check to see if there is. But it does seem like more of the same, but the same was, you know, th that was good in the first place. I enjoyed three quite a lot. Seems like they've gone with the same thing. Nice big open levels. It looks like they've improved the sound triangulation and searching systems a bit more. The AI seems a bit smarter, even on the lower difficulties. A lot of customization. Definitely runs well, at least in DirectX 11. Runs like absolute shite in DirectX 12. Down, 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 down. Alright, he went down there, so... Now would be a lovely time to maybe drop this guy. Yeah, I like the big open stealth thing. Oh, looks like there's a sound distraction. Now would be a great time to pop a note and fire. There we go. You don't know where we are. Ah, thank you, Luftwaffe. 
I'm getting medals aplenty. Imagine if you were ac they actually started appearing on a uniform and by the end of the mission you couldn't move because you were encumbered by medals. You must drop five of your medals to move, otherwise you will move at a snail's pace. Have this awful Far Cry inventory management of nothing but medals. This will come in very useful. Are these Italians? They might be. They, they, they very well might be. I mean, this does look like Italian architecture. It's entirely possible. Looks like we might be fighting up against uh, Mussolini's dudes rather than Hitler's at the moment. You see, I would have probably known this had I actually paid any attention to the opening cutscene. You see, Sniper Elite 6 is going to have metal shots. Like, you aim specifically at the metal of a officer and you get a bonus for shooting him through the metal. I'm just going to put a track on these guys again. Show me to tell me what kind of planes they are. Ah, you are patrolling the fuel dump, I see. Wouldn't it be a shame if something were to happen to it? We just... let's see... Put a tag on something explosive... How terrible! How terrible! Man, you just- you shouldn't keep those things lying around like that. They're highly combustible. Very dangerous. Mm. Let's switch back to the regular ammo. Yeah, they do look like Stukas, you're right. He's on his way to find out what the fuck happened. They do eventually give up, but I mean, of course they would. Eventually. I'm just glad that they, especially when they triangulate you and you abs they absolutely know you're there, they do keep sending people. And you have to do quite a lot to actually get out of the way. <laughs> Alright. There's probably, the, one of the officers is probably in there, one would think. And they're filming propaganda over there. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess he's upset that he something fucking exploded. Yeah, I can't blame him, really. All right, now's a good time to snipe. We've got some noise going on. Dental work in the US is getting very expensive, so I found an alternative solution. This is the reason I would never be James Bond. My quips are too long and not funny. Nice to take an opportunity every time there's a sound above ahead just to shoot one of them, though. Nobody's noticed him just yet. They are searching it. Oh, fuck. They are certainly suspicious, however, no doubt. What have I got in terms of ways to distract them? Tactical flare gun. I have a whistle. I do actually have mines and stick grenades and such as well. And some TNT dynamite. I can throw rocks at him, see what happens. Rock and whistle. The rock is the ultimate distraction item. Small, plentiful, and light enough to be thrown at safe distances. It will create a noise. Ah, and they're not dumb enough to be repeatedly fooled by it. That's good. Right, well, that sniper tower is a perfect area to pick off most of them. So if I can just sneak up there... And if I get caught, what I could do is uh, set a trip mine at the bottom. I assume S mine is probably that. I, I don't know what the difference between S mine and trip mine is. But if we set a trip mine up at the bottom of the sniper tower, then if any of them run up there trying to get me, then they will be in for a nasty surprise. They found the bodies, so they're searching actively for me. I can't remember exactly what the button is to use these. Is it E? I'm going to check the controls. I don't think it ever mentioned that. Controls, controls. Fully customizable, always good. Empty lung, what's use 
Use, use, no. Qu quick save, always handy to have. Use item F. I don't know how often it saves the game. Maybe after each objective, hard to say. Use item is F, okay. Oh, they, they have spotted me, haven't they? Hello. Yeah, so... You know, that, uh... That is a very amusing place for them to be, so if you... If you just, like, uh, happen to just walk over there just a little bit... Just, just a, you know, uh, uh, well, never mind. This was probably a fairly poor place to put it, all things considered. <laughs> I mean, I was trying. Let's be honest. <laughs> I was hoping they'd run into that trip mine in the process, but never mind. Maybe I should just place a different item, not the one that doesn't require me to do all of that stuff. What is an S mine? I mean, a telemine. I don't know what the difference between any of these things is. Thankfully, it looks like it's going to tell me. Dual functionality items. All the items you access have a dual function. Mouse one while selecting an item in the radial menu will change its effect. So double foot press is like what? The only way it'll ever be set off is if they stand directly on it? That, that sounds like German to me, not Italian. Fuck. That was a stupid thing to do. I don't really know what the difference is. Honestly. And it's like, well, what's the difference between S mine and Telemine? I mean, one you'd think would be against vehicles, but evidently not. Ah, Telemine. Tutorial. Telemine's designed to halt vehicles. Thought they might be. While incorporating a light enough trigger to activate under troop movement. The dual function allows the first activation to be ignored, perfect for maximum damage to convoys or groups of enemies. That's a really neat little feature. I love that. That's really cool. Oh my god, this is bad. Okay. I think they spotted me! Fuck! <laughs> Might want to maybe not fuck around here. I do like that, though. That's that's really cool. They've, they've done a lot here to... Enhance the amount of uh, crazy, trappy bullshit you can pull on people. The planes are just above. If I were careful. Maybe you just uh, grenade into the middle of them. Maybe go for the, the less silent approach to take these guys out. And then just snipe them as they're panicked because they won't know exactly where it came from. I don't know why I decided to use a medkit there, but hey. Just, uh... Oh, there's an adhesive version of it. Neat. You... Oh, so if you make an adhesive version, it sticks. That that definitely did not happen, but there you go. Uh, so we could throw one into the middle there, cause some confusion. If I throw it away from where I am, then they might run towards there and see... And then we might get uh, a little bit of business. Actually cause them a little bit of a distraction. So they heard the explosion. I dive down here, they'll probably go and investigate it, and then I can probably get up the sniper tower. I mean, this is only on regular difficulty, so, you know. It's not 100% surprising that they didn't manage to see me in that situation. If this was on harder difficulty, I'm sure they would have spotted me pretty quick. Down, 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 down. Alright. Okay, they don't know I'm here. They're looking, though. Are those explosives? Please tell me they're explosives. Planes coming overhead. I think they figured it out. Okay, uh... S-mine. That's probably good, right? Shrapnel anti-personnel mine. <laughs> cool. So if we were to just, you know... Place one of those on the stairs. Uh oh, shit. Run! Run, 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 run! Come on! I think they may have noticed me doing that. So I have a feeling they're probably not going to be stupid enough to run up here. And I would be correct. They have no intention of doing that whatsoever. This is only wood, right? It, in theory. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> It actually worked. Yeah. 
Yeah, they've also unfortunately realized it's only wood and are shooting the shit out of me. This was a bad idea! Okay, well, I think uh, the stealth approach may have failed. Please stop me! I, I can't... I can't even get out of here. I placed a mine. I'm gonna end up dying if I try and leave. Please stop it. They're just riddling the tower with holes until they eventually get me, which is a pretty damn smart thing to do. And I'm gone. All fucking credit to them for designing an AI that doesn't do stupid shit. The fact that they saw me put the mine down, so deliberately avoided it, realized that I was in soft cover, and instead of going up there and falling into my trap, just riddled the tower with bullets until I died, is actually really quite impressive. I have to give them credit for that. That's actually really kind of cool. Also, apparently, we have a woodpecker. Interesting. I did not know that. Oh, there you go. Uh, all right. Well, I'm, I'm, I've got to give them props for that. That's neat. All right. We will uh, try the approach again. I, I, say, I still think, like, the trip mine's probably the way to go. But the question is, can I plant it without them seeing me? Because last time it didn't work out so well. And besides, I think like they've all... Ah, I see. The, the problem is that... Alright. There we go. Down. Just sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I don't think... The thing is, I don't think they're even dumb enough to come up here. Even if I did. Because like I said last time, they did not even bother. I don't think... Oh, well, we set some- we- it looks like someone tried to come up here, but they hadn't fully spotted me, so... We got one of them. Still, I'm still pretty impressed about that whole thing. Most games don't... have people- have AI act in a, a way that is that smart, and actually really take into account the terrain. And I have to- I have to give him props for that. Also, this thing's creaking in the wind and that's kind of great. Alright. Plane's coming overhead, right? Here it is. Could maybe get someone else with that. Please tell me I can shoot him through the tent. Oh, I guess it's not gonna matter. Oops! Well, I guess the sound masking was not gonna work that long. Shit's getting pretty bad. Alright, he's there. Come on, get him into a position where I can shoot him through the wood. Yes! I shot him in the balls through a fucking floor. That's kind of great. Alright, where where are the rest of these shots coming from is the question. I need to get the hell down from here. Ow. Ow. Down, 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 down. Where is everybody? I think I'm surrounded. Down! Get prone, you bastard. Prone! There's a guy with a machine gun over there. I sent him down, but I didn't kill him. You can booby trap bodies with mines. You've been able to do that for a while, haven't you? Still- Oh, that's a fucking grenade! Down, 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 down. <laughs> 
Shit is getting rough. Okay, let's get behind the sandbags and try and heal up. Maybe I could get another shot off here. I, I think it's not going to matter if I'm quiet. They know exactly where I am, though. You can see the triangulation. So they're going to come. Oh, you can totally die from a bullshit. Oh, fuck. Right, in this case, I think SMG is just fine. Oh, he sees me through the foliage. Ow. SMGs are kind of rubbish, doo -da, doo da There's a guy up there as well. All right. Gotta watch out for that. And, of course, there's the guys we haven't spotted yet. There's a dude with a sniper rifle up there somewhere. Yes, my exit strategy is dive into the sea. <laughs> I don't really have much more of an exit strategy. Incoming. SMD will probably do on him. But yeah, like, it's very, obviously, very inaccurate. Leg it! There's a lot of them! Okay, uh, do I have anything that would be in any way helpful? I could set up a mine and start to retreat into the camp, maybe. Oh, there's fire coming for the village as well. Leg it! Leg it! Run! Hopefully that might catch one of my pursuers. Then I'll try and make it into the village and uh, maybe I can break out. They still know exactly where I am. Up, up, up. Oh, yes! Got two of them on the way out. Looks like there's still one behind me. They are very, very good at hunting you down in this version. Real good at it. That's where they last thought I was. There's a squad, the entire fucking squad of them after me now. Shit! Where is that? Those bandages. Use the bandages. We are bleeding bad. I'm also running out of ammo. I should actually switch out to one of their submachine guns so I can use their ammo. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm pretty much out of Thompson ammo at this point. Alright, they're coming through. Uh, can, is there a... Do I have a grenade, a trap, anything? Well, I found the officer. Looks like I got a couple of them with a accidental explosion over there. They are still after me. Is there a button to change uh, side? I... maybe? I would hope so, because it definitely... it doesn't have, like, sticky cover mechanics. Uh, let's have a quick look. All of these do have hotkeys, by the way. I just haven't memorized them yet. So, you know, not a dodgy console port or anything. Uh, if there is, I don't see it. Shoulder aim toggle. It does... Uh, control, I think, yeah. Uh, oh, that's actually just that. Okay, so no, it isn't. Um, hmm, I don't know then. Uh, it's nice that it has both toggle and... Uh, it's it's got to be a way to swap... Stance? No, that's crouching. I... There may... There actually might not be, which is pretty wonky, actually. Camera swap? Mouse three? Aha! Yes, there is. Camera swap does it. Yeah, that... It's not so obvious, but yeah, it looks like camera swap does it. Right, that's where they currently think I am, so let's get the hell out of here. Of course, they're going to try and follow the trail of bodies, but I might be able to get the jump on him. No, he spotted me pretty much immediately. Yeah, so th there's your swap. But I can get them both in an ambush, so they are still sending dudes. You don't have a lot of time to hang around and uh, wait for loot, let me put it that way. They're 
firing where they think I am. I right, get the rifle out. Now he knows exactly where I am because I shot. He's going to try and flank me by the looks of it. Oh, that's fine. He opens himself up to being shot then. Through the intestines. Yeah. This is really tense and fun, actually. I'm having a blast. It does feel like they're just... Because they're putting so much more effort into chasing you down, it feels like, like you're just genuinely on the run all the time. I think they may have finally given up. Either that, or there's probably just a limited number of enemies on the level, so once they run out of people, then they can't keep sending dudes. I'm going to imagine that's how it is. I, I hope there's no, like, respawning clown car shit. There's two of them coming from behind now, so I wanna, I'm gonna keep moving. This is where they think I am, so let's take advantage of that and leg it while we have the opportunity to do so. I'm starting to maybe go into a building and get some higher ground, but I'm not sure that's an option right now. Nope, they still know where I am. They spotted me running. So I'm going to have to take these guys out that are following me. Where are they? Where are you? It's hiding the foliage. There's one, I think, around the bend. Yeah, he's just popping out. They're so cautious as well, for the most part. I appreciate that. Like, they pop in and out of cover quite a bit. Oh, fuck. That didn't work. That did not work at all. Shoot him again! <laughs> Ooh, that's rough. Alright, bandage, bandage. I'm starting to rapidly run out of medical supplies here, so... I need to get moving, because they're gonna keep coming and I don't have infinite bullets. Shit. Turns out they can see more than three feet ahead of them. That doesn't seem fair at all. Where is he? There he is. I see ya. I see ya. Caught him, but I didn't kill him. That'll do the trick, though. Oh, that's just unfair. And uh, th this whole villa is obviously alerted to the fact that bullshit is going on. So, I need to be a little careful. Oh, fuck. That was the officer. Well. Time we got better acquainted. He, he's the main dude, isn't he? Chum. I think I can hit him from up here, if I'm careful. No, maybe? No. No, not if you're going to lean down like that. Now I can. No! Hit the stone. I was hoping to maybe get... Just... Just... No, nope, just above his head. That's where they currently think I am. And they're pretty much right on that one. Yep. So that's why they're shooting there. There's no other way in, really, I don't think. So I'm just gonna have to get through it. Do I have a grenade left? I do. So, maybe a grenade in the house. Oh, fuck. They're from, coming from behind as well. Oh, God. They do not let up. One through the head. Second through the head. Oh, that actually did not hit him in the head. Let's shoot him in the stomach instead, then. That'll do. They are still coming. That guy is now coming to investigate, so let's get ready. That should do the job. Oh, if you're... Uh, someone mentioned in chat they're playing Deadly Premonition. Uh, you need uh, Durante's fix for that game. Don't play the base version of that. It's awful. Um, you need... Uh, download Durante's fixes. That'll do the trick. Really oh, nice. Safes hold important items. Each safe has a key code to give you access. Make sure you search important looking enemies for them. Or you can blow them with a satchel charge, but it might destroy stuff. Neat. So there's a safe in there. All right. I guess we can go and have a look about. See what's going on with that. They're almost... 
Oh, someone just bled out. Apparently they can bleed out too. So you don't even have to necessarily kill them. Although I can't see the advantage of just letting that happen. Can I climb up? No. Not Lara Croft. Ladders, on the other hand. Now those we can do. Speaking of Durande, by the way, the job he's done with Little King's story is really something. It's fucking awesome. That game's actually playable now. It's lovely. All right. Use the code. Figure out what's in the safe. Not a lot, by the looks of it. <laughs> I'm not going to swap out for a Luger, thank you very much. Well, I suppose we now need to get the hell out of here. Um... Sorry, I just couldn't handle the advanced pigeon physics that were going on there. Let's uh, check the map and see what else is going on. There's still some cameras to destroy. And there's still an officer. Yeah, we still have to kill the other officers. So there's one over there, one over there. Might as well get the cameras then, because there's one here as well. So no reason not to. I could probably just uh, shoot it, but... I mean, when it comes to the officers, if I use my binoculars, I might be able to pick them off from here. That would save me a little bit of a trek. But I don't see anyone visible at the moment. Mark that, just for future reference, though. And the others are all the way over there. There's no line of sight on them. Interesting. I w hmm, I wonder. If I were to maybe cause a few issues here and there... Maybe I could get them to poke their heads out. Is that just camera destruction, though? Yeah, there's officers in that area, too. Okay. So what What if I... If I shot the, the gas canister over there, would that sort of rattle the nest, as it were? It would be interesting to try. Let's give it a shot. I think I can hit it from here. Yep, well, that's definitely caused an alert. Let's keep an eye out and see if any of them decide to uh, go and investigate. There's a lot of high walls, though. I don't think I'll get a good shot on any of them. But whoever is around there is definitely alerted to something. Nobody's showing their face at the moment. Okay. Well, it was worth a try. Hopefully this won't kill me. Did a significant amount of damage, so maybe don't do the dropping thing in future. Myself bandaged up. Yeah, they're probably not stupid enough to pop their heads out. It's like, yeah, we know there's a sniper around. Let's just pop our heads out and investigate every little thing that happens. No, maybe not. Can I shoot those planes down? Because that would be fucking amazing. I'm going to imagine you can't. Because that would also be silly. But, wow, if you could shoot a plane down with a great sniper rifle shot, that would be kind of great. Conveniently, they're next to ammunition and explosive petrol. So there are ways and means of taking them out without directly getting there. I wonder why those vehicles are marked the way they are. I don't know if the AI can use them. If you can use them, then that's crazy. I mean, hell, it even tells you... I know there were missions in the previous games where you had to stop a vehicle by taking out the tires and stuff. I don't know exactly how much of that there is in this one. All right, time to leave. No, uh, I think that that's going to move a little quick. I think you can actually hit it, though. I it, it gave me a couple of hit markers. So the next time a plane comes over, we're going to try and shoot the plane down. Maybe I can set up some TNT on that car and use that as a distraction of some sort. Well, they've given up the search. I mean, I can't really blame them. I blew up a thing of petrol and then disappeared. It's not like they had much to really say about that. I don't know about the anti-tank ammo. Uh, there's probably K-bullets of some sort, I suppose. 
Right, where's that plane? I saw a plane. I heard a plane. Where's the plane? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to hit it from here. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to try and shoot a plane down with a sniper rifle. And if we can do that, we might give it the title of best game ever. Can you tear down the tower with TNT? That's a great question. Let's try it. I mean, you can shoot through it. Why not? Maybe, maybe you can demolish the tower. That would be kind of cool if you could. I know we set off an anti-personnel mine around it. Uh, seems like the whole the whole thing's surrounded by sandbags, so I'm going to imagine that the answer to that is no, but let's give it a try anyway. Oh, you can put it right in the middle here. I'm not sure if that was timed or not. Yeah, it's not giving me a shot on those plates. All right, well, I've placed the TNT. Do I have to then shoot it? I don't think I put a timer on it. Yeah, that wasn't timed TNT, so I'll have to shoot it. Oh, enemies can disarm TNT if they notice it. Neat. All right, we'll head over to the village here, just so I'm a little bit out of range, and then uh, I'll take a shot at the TNT. I don't think I can even see it from here, actually. Screw it, we'll go back and set another timed charge, and then see what happens. So. I am curious to know if you can bl if there are actual destructible buildings in this, because I'm pretty sure that was not a part of the original. Outside of the obvious scripted stuff, anyway. Alright, time TNT charge. Let's uh, leave the area. Not by the looks of it, no. It may for... Uh, t I don't know if there, there are some, and maybe that's just because of all the sandbags. It's like, no, that isn't going to work, but no, you can't knock it down. I can't, I'm not 100% surprised by that. Would be hella cool if you could, though. There's some red faction shit going on right there. Oh, red faction, I miss you. Considering the current tech we have now, a new Red Faction game would be quite great. I mean, hell, I even loved, uh... was it? Armageddon. Oh my god, I hit it! Not only did I hit it, but it's actually going down, I think. The plane is on fire. So, uh, yes, apparently you can damage planes. I don't know if you can actually destroy them, but you can damage them. I'm never going to hit anything that's going at that. It would have to be parallel directly above my head for any chance to hit it. It may very well have uh, flown back to base now. I don't think it went down. I didn't get any points for it. Well, yeah, I keep forgetting that I probably just shouldn't be randomly shooting. As far as the trucks, I don't... I mean, you can't... I assume that you can blow them up because of these fuel tanks right here. It's a bit zoomed in. You can probably blow them up, but I don't think you can drive them. All right, anyway, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing, which is destroying those cameras and then killing the officers. Yes, being able to hit the planes is amusing. As I said, I don't think there's, there doesn't seem to be any real effect. I did not, I did not hit the plane there. I think the guy, the one that's on fire has left now. Oh no, it's still there! I really want to kill it. But, I can't. I imagine you, oh, I imagine you have to shoot them quite a bit to take them down. But yeah, it's still on fire and still flying around, which seems a tad risky. Oh god, how the hell do you get up here? Let's follow the road and see where it goes. Also, this guy really needs to learn some fucking cardio. Sprints for a couple of seconds like, Wah, I'm beat. Time for a donut. You know the way that people uh, get really upset when they're not properly represented in games? This guy represents me and my cardio level. I really want to shoot down one of those planes. As ridiculous as it sounds. 
These guys can absolutely see me. There's one over there. Let's uh, be maybe just a little bit more careful. Tag these. Yeah, this camp is completely full of them. Nope, missed it. <laughs> now it's gonna tell me our bullet tra trajectory. Not very handy of it. It's like, you are shit at shooting, let us explain why. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get around him very easily, am I? Could wait for the planes and maybe take a shot. I've still got well-rod ammo. Looks like the planes are quite close, though. I'm gonna assume I can't put a bullet through stone. That would be a little ridiculous. He's just not quite close enough for that. Oh, here come the planes. Noise? Noise? Enough noise? Not enough noise. Alright, we'll just bypass him then. Here's the noise. Obviously not quite enough of it to bring up the indicator. Nearby objective. So where is the officer? He's around here somewhere. I just haven't seen him. Probably in one of the main buildings. Someone spotted me. Let's get down. Oh. I did not mean to put that there. Well, uh, this is not quite the distraction I was looking for, but hey. <laughs> I think they may have noticed. That was not my intention. Yeah, they know I'm here. <laughs> this might distract them a little. Plane coming overhead, maybe? Well... At least we know the officer's around here somewhere, because he's got his whistle. I think he's... I, I First, they need to check if I'm wearing my headphones backwards, because I'm like, hmm, can I detect where he is based on the position of the sound? I think I'm wearing my headphones backwards, who's to the right. This is gonna get rough. All right. This is bad. This is real fucking bad. Best to deal with this one. Missed him. Through the tent. Through the tent. Through the tent. Yes. And <laughs> through the fence. I have pissed them off. Of that I now have no doubt. Through the tent. Through the tent. Through the tent. Yes. They are very, very angry with me for this. Okay, I've sort of uh, given up on the whole stealth idea right now. Truck, transports and cargo. Okay. Sure. Fuck. Yep, cloth does not stop bullets. Although, it does seem to make it a little harder to kill. Alright, they think I'm here. Through the eye. There's one coming up behind me. They know exactly where I am. Doesn't look like there's anything too useful here. Yes! Oh, that's satisfying. Alright, we cleared the whole camp out. Very nice. 
I can't imagine that would be so easy on a higher difficulty than that. This is just easy, though. I'm going to assume you cannot drive vehicles in this. Oh, there's a bunch of collectibles and stuff as well. Letters home and all that kind of thing. I guess it's supposed to make you feel guilty for all of this killing, but the killing is just far too much fun. That's just your regular sort of run-of-the-mill vehicle. All right, well, this is all dealt with. Let's go destroy the camera and get the hell out. A lot of spare uh, ammunition here. Why not? And I have some MP40s as well. All cameras destroyed. There was uh, one more... to deal with, wasn't there? Yep, the last objective, somewhat over there. I'm still really tempted to try and bring a plane down. But like I said, they're very hard to hit. <laughs> and apparently take more than one shot. Speaking of... Yeah, I, that's not going to happen. <laughs> no. If they came direct overhead... Sure. Down. I have to be a little more careful than that. Oh look, there's the guy with the smoke. Let's try and finish him off. Okay, it's gonna be a little tricky. Alright, he's coming this way. Coming this way. Come on. No. <laughs> I hit him once, and that's probably never going to happen again. Let's be totally frank. Oh, apparently there's still somebody in this area that I hadn't quite accounted for. Don't see him anywhere. All I know is he's surrounded by explosives. That's probably a good way to kill him. Oh, and there's a guy over there I've alerted as well, so... Might want to be a little bit less stupid about it. Can I shoot a flock of birds out of the sky? If the plane comes around again, I'll give it another try. <laughs> so yes, Total Biscuit took five hours to finish the first mission. This is very indicative of the length of the game. It's like, wow, this game has 80 hours of content. It's like, no, you're just really slow. I'm also mostly fucking around. Oh, this area looks like a playground and a half, doesn't it? It's just, there's explosives everywhere. I mean, come on. This is just a horribly unsafe working environment. Also, I apparently need to learn to aim because I can't hit a fucking box without aim assist. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What a mess. I hit the plane. Can I hit it again? The answer to that apparently being probably not. I think it. Oh my god, I think I. Did I? No. But I guess the officer got hit by the shrapnel and bled to death. Because I just beat it. I and they seem very upset about that fact. Yeah, the officer must have just bled to death. He must have been killed in the shrapnel explosion. Neat. I think they know where I am. <laughs> I just have this weird impression that they may have figured it out. You didn't need that anyway. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody over there. 
Where is he? I should probably try and leave now, shouldn't I, really? I need to reach the extraction point. He's down there. He can't really do much to me. But there are shots coming from over here. Someone has a really bad shot, but he is there. I just can't see him. Where are you? Oh, he's coming up. It's the plane again. I think I missed it. <laughs> I want this plane. Let me take it out. I don't know if you can actually destroy them. <laughs> The Red Baron was flying a little slower than these guys, so... Also, his plane was made of balsa wood, so there's that. Oh, he's... is that him up? There's a couple of them just popping their heads over here. Are these explosive? I guess not. His head is, though. We need to leave. <laughs> Alright, this apparently is the extraction point, so let's get a move on. They are on their way, and they are after me. I need to run. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Even if you're out of range of the grenade, the shockwave still sends you uh, reeling a bit. Pretty cool. Okay. We're out. We're going. Pushed our luck a little bit too much, I think. I would love to use the tractor, but I don't think you, can, you can't drive vehicles in this game, from what I can tell. Oh god, is it all the way down there? Oh, bloody hell. Shit's getting a bit real. I want the plane! It's not happening yet. <laughs> I don't know if I can make that drop. I guess we're about to find out. The answer is no. And the game crashed. I really hope I didn't lose my place. But the fact that it crashed is also a bit disturbing as well. There was no reason for that. All right, well. Great. I'm going to have to redo... Ah, it's doing this shit again. It's refusing to load. This is the... We had this issue a couple of times the last time. Let's try it, try it again. All right. Okay, now, now it is loading again. Great. I'm probably going to have to reset the sound stuff again. Likely, anyway. But yeah, I believe there is a day one patch, which this version is not running on, so that probably has quite a lot to do with it. Regardless, you know, these random crashes are not so great. Uh, just going to reconfigure the audio again. My apologies for having to do this. As much as I wish that I didn't, it's just how the thing works. When it works, at any rate. Da, 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 da. It's one of these. Two speaker outputs. Add selected. Five and 35. Five and 35. That should hopefully be fixed now. Yes, 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 yes. It is working. Okay, great. Last checkpoint, one hour, six minutes. I really have spent a lot of time in there, haven't I? So, that's the most recent save. It apparently saves pretty often. So, that's not too bad, at least. And the game crashed immediately upon loading the save. Right. Well, 
I'm certainly hoping that the day one patch version is a little more stable than this. We'll try loading again. God. Yeah, it's doing the same shit. Like, you have to try reloading a couple of times to, for it to actually even load in the first place. Which means... <sighs> crash, crash, crash. That's two times I've tried to load it now. Let's try maybe the third is the magic number. The third time is the magic number, apparently. For whatever reason. I'm hoping it didn't corrupt the save file. I could load the one that's a minute before it. That probably is fine. And once again, the sound ducking doesn't work anymore. Ah! And I, I, I can't imagine that the alt tabbing is doing it any good either. If it's that unstable, alt tabbing has a tendency of adding to that situation and making a mess of it. Okay. Audio duck. Reset the audio duck. Uh, apparently you guys said you wanted it slightly louder. I can do that. There we go. Out of 45% rather than 35. Audio duck now active. Yes, it's working. Yes, good, good. Okay, let's try the one just before that then. I think it's working now at least, yeah. This game is out tomorrow. As I said, the press version is not running with the day one patch, so hopefully some of these crashes are resolved by then. If not, well, that's pretty crappy, isn't it? I mean, it shouldn't be crashing in the first place, press build or no press build, but hey. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And what is the best way down? Uh, the, so there's a little path over there. Oh God, there's so many of them. I've been running too much, so I can't use the uh, aim assist, so I expect my shots to be slightly worse. Oh, that his helmet. This won't. Oh, just through the dome. All right. There's one more ahead somewhere. And then we can try and make it down that path and get to the exit. He's really pissed off. I can't see him, can't see him. Pop up. Yeah, that'll do the trick. I cannot make the jump. We have tried this before. I... Don't think that is a good idea. But I still want that plane. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where's the plane? One more try. Nope. <laughs> that was not intentional. I will stress that. if you would like even have to hit the cockpit or something or hit it as it's coming at you probably hitting the tail isn't going to do much always nice to get an extra trip mine apparently it looked like a med kit to me i guess not i don't even trust jumping down from here <laughs> and i almost did too so what is the safest way down the most dangerous thing in this game is apparently heights Trying to practice not using that aim assist. Here it is. Oh, fuck. What? I went to... Fucking zoom and it didn't work. God damn it. I'm never quite ready. I, I need to just mark that damn plane. But I think it probably moves out of range. Keep it in mind so that when it passes over, I can shoot it. I don't think we're going to be leaving this level until we bring this plane down, are we? I need to know if you can. I need to know this. Yeah, they get out of range pretty quickly. But I imagine they're going to loop around and come back this way. 
And if that's the case, maybe I can get a bullet into the front of the plane or into the cockpit. All clear. <laughs> uh, no, not really, but hey. It depends where they loop around, though. I said there's about three different patrols of planes. And the damaged one is that one. I think this is actually a second one I damaged as well. It's pretty close, wherever it is. Where is it? Yeah, you can, you can definitely damage them if you hit them from the front. But... Outside of that, I don't think you can actually kill them. But I've damaged another one now, so that one's on fire. Because you see, like, the red indicator? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Look at this, look at this fucking thing. Nah, I don't think it's doable. I think that you can only damage them by the looks of it. Even shooting it from the front, I wasn't getting a red indicator anywhere. So, if there is a place you can actually shoot them down, I obviously have not been able to hit it. Alright, well, that's that. I'm sure when the game actually comes out, someone will prove that you can do it. This is the- I assume that I'm going the right way to escape this. Also, the movement is a little bit clunky when he's sprinting, but I guess that's by design. I wonder if there's any actual purpose to setting the planes on fire, because it doesn't seem to affect what they do or anything like that. I mean, maybe that would distract people, so they'd look up in the air and it's like, Oh god, our plane's on fire, and then you could take them out that way. We should leave them a little present on the way out. I'm actually out of TNT. But who needs TNT when we have... I'd hit the grenades. Time to leave. Oh, there's a guy up on the top. It's like, what the hell happened? He will never know. Escape via the small rowboat. Oh, it has an engine. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping for like a QT minigame where I rode away. Yeah, you can spend quite a lot of time on that level if you want to mess around. There's a lot of challenges, apparently, and I guess I did none of them. So, I have no idea what any of them actually are about, because clicking them does nothing, but hey. Ugh. That's it. I, uh, it's good. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's fairly similar to Sniper Elite 3. But, it's fun. Fun for what it is. I don't know what the hell all of this leveling up and currency shit's all about. But... I certainly don't hate it. I think it's actually kind of a blast, really. Multiplayer, I'm... Yeah, that... So, here are the... the, the there won't be any games available. I said this is the press build. No, obviously, nobody's going to have any games available. I'll check cooperative just in case there's a press person running one. No. So, you got Team Deathmatch, Deathmatch, Team Distance King, Distance King, No Cross, and Control. So, yeah, that's there. And in terms of co-op, you've got Campaign, Survival, and Overwatch with Sniper and Spotting. It's asymmetry. Kind of neat. Check out our service record. How many medals have we got? Actually, not too many. There's quite a lot to earn by the looks of it. We have ribbons. Got lots of ribbons. And there's collectible stuff as well. So these are, this looks like the number of levels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then Target Fuhrer. Let me guess, that one's probably DLC again, isn't it? They always do the whole Kill Hitler thing as DLC. Decent number of levels, and as I said, uh, with co-op as an option, I think that's, uh, that's a decent value proposition. I know some people said, what, oh, $60, what the hell? Yeah, but I mean, it's fully featured. Single player, multiplayer, co cooperative, and multiplayer competitive. It's not like it's lacking in features. And I said, yeah, Target Fuhrer is the DLC. Big surprise. They always do this shit. I don't like day one DLC at all. And they know that's the one that people want as well, so it's particularly cynical.
But yeah, collectibles wise, you can see like letters, documents. There are apparently dead eye targets. I don't know what those mean. And of course, there are a bunch of challenges as well. My longest shot was 108 meters, which I guess is not really that impressive, is it? And in terms of skills, you don't get them till level 5. I only got level 3 from that. And again, I imagine this is probably going to apply to co-op and the wave-based stuff as well. Extra ammo. None of them seem all that interesting. They just make you a bit better. And in terms of weapons, you earn... I don't know how you earn those dollars, but... It just lets you start with stuff, but what really concerns me is the amount of weapons that seem to be in the DLC. I mean, th these are all DLC weapons. That's actually a significant number of guns. Day one DLC is terrible. You can also get upgrades for your guns. Looks like you have to I master the weapon in order to do that, by the looks of it. Makes sense. Skins and upgrades... In terms of upgrades, yeah, so you can see their challenges for them. You get a mastery skin for doing like 20 hard shots and that sort of thing. Which, you know, it's fine. I don't mind there being unlockable stuff like that. I'm not so keen on this whole skill tree thing. I mean, it's illogical. <laughs> when you think about it. Because it makes the game easier. So, I have to wonder, why would you ever have this? Because you're naturally getting better at the game as you play more of it. So why on earth would you then have a skill tree that makes the game easier on top of that? Surely that would ruin the difficulty curve. It's a, It just doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, we'll let you start off with a bunch of different stuff. The MKB-42. Don't know what the hell that is. Never heard of it. I think that's Italian. Trench gun. The grease gun's a DLC. That'll piss people off. And then when it comes to this, there's another kind of suppressed pistol, and then there's kind of basic stuff. Webley revolvers in there, that's always good. You can actually still get suppressed ammo for some of these guns, even if they don't have a suppressor on them. And equipment-wise, anything fun? You can start with suppressor rifle or pistol ammo. Outside of that, no. I think we've seen all of the gear that was available in that mission. Alright, well, I'm, as I said, I, I, I like it. I'll play a little bit more for the video, obviously. I don't, I, I by no means hate it. I think that it seems like it's more of the same, just a bit more refined. And if that's all people wanted out of a Sniper Elite sequel, that's great. Because I like, I like 3, and this seems like an even better version of 3, so, great. Why not? No, no harm in that. I'm intrigued to see how the co-op goes. I'll obviously have to try that past launch, and I'll have to try the performance and the stability past launch as well. As it stands, the DirectX 12 version runs like absolute dog shit, and there's no benefit, from what I can tell, to running that. So, I'm not convinced by that, but the DirectX 11 version, which you select through the launcher prior to going in the game, work, works beautifully. Runs really, really well. Alright, well, that is that, I suppose. As I said, outside of the instability and the occasional weird moments, it's pretty good. And it seems like, for the most part, this is set in Italy. Uh, well, I mean, for God's sake, you can see the Italia thing right there. And uh, the symbol of fascism, which is not a giant T. Yet. Would I recommend getting Sniper Elite 3 first? Probably. I don't know how much that uh, game costs right now. Let's have a, a quick check. As like I said, it is, it's good, but it's not hugely improved over Sniper Elite 3, from what I can tell. Sniper Elite 3 is still $50 for some reason. I don't know why that is. You'd think it would make a decent amount of sense to knock the price down prior to launch for this, but hey. It's not... I, I'd, maybe, I'd maybe wait for, you know, possibly a, for it to go down in price, but... It's not like it's not a fully featured game. It's got a lot going on with it. I don't know exactly if there's enough to justify a day one purchase, but that's something that you'd have to decide for yourself. It's still really, really good, from what I can tell. 
and I'm intrigued to see what's going on with the co-op. Apparently you do co-op with up to four players. It does have the wave-based stuff as well, although I guess you could play the Nazi zombie games if you wanted to do a lot of that. It's good. It's, yeah, as I said, it's fun. All right, I had plenty of fun little moments on that level, and that was just the first of ten. So there's not like there's a lack of content there. But it's four runner out, isn't that tomorrow? I believe it is. If I recall correctly, some people are getting keys for streaming. I don't know if I'm getting one for streaming. I'm probably not. I didn't even really play the beta much. I actually wanted to just wait until it was released. There was also the problem that most of the people playing it on Twitch are actually paid to play it, which to me made it seem like I would be a bit of a sucker if I decided to play it and give it exposure for free, right? It's like, everyone else is getting paid. Why the hell should I give them uh, publicity? But, you know, I, I definitely do not, by any means, work that way when it comes to games. That's a very mercenary attitude. The concern that I've got, really, is that um, I would have been mistaken for being sponsored because there are so many people currently playing that game and being paid to play it, I didn't want to be lumped in with them. That was my concern. Yeah, I do have a code for Ferrana, but it's not for the version that's available yet. I'm going to make the... Uh, uh, Strippen was paid to play it, yes. I mean, he disclosed that. Most people disclosed that a couple of people were pretty suspect with that. I uh, can't remember who specifically, but there's a couple of the big streamers that uh, used Powered by Amazon Prime. What they actually meant was, we're being paid a shit ton of money to stream this game. <laughs> they were not clear about it. But most of the people playing the beta were being paid to. So, we'll see what... But apparently I have not got an early access key. Not yet, anyway. It does come out at midnight, so I, I mean, I honestly don't care. I've got so many other things to do today anyway. All right, pretty much wraps it up then, I think. I'm going to... Get on with some other stuff. Uh, I've got to uh, head over to a meeting in a couple of hours at my uh, son's school anyway, so I have a few other things to do. But thank you very much for watching. Sniper Elite 4 is out tomorrow, and my first impressions of it are pretty positive. As I said, it seems pretty good to me. It's not a huge jump from the last one, but it's still a hell of a lot of fun. So if you're looking for a sniper sandbox, this may very well be up your alley. A little pricey, certainly. So maybe a little rich for some people's blood, especially considering how similar it seems to be to Sniper Elite 3. But I will say the AI seemed to be significantly smarter, and there were some pretty damn cool moments in the process. All right, folks, I'm going to wrap it up, get a shower, get on over to the school, and sort out whatever the hell it is I need to sort out over there. Then I can get back and start to work on a few other things. I need to get my, well, one, my Sniper Elite video. I need to work on that. And I'm also looking to see what I can do with Holy Potatoes, We're in Space, which I played a few hours of yesterday as well. So lots to do, lots to cover. Reminder, the Corruptional Podcast is on at the same time as usual tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll see you next time.